Hello gamers, welcome to a tutorial on how to make props for Source from Blender. For this tutorial you're going to need Blender 2.8, Crowbar, and VMT Editor. All the links are in the description. You will also need something called Blender Source Tools, which is an add-on for Blender that allows you to that allows you to export as SMD in any other formats that Source supports. So to download this you're just going to download the zip here. And to get this piece of software installed you're going to just open your Blender Source Tools folder. You're going to see this little folder right here, IO Scene Valve Source. You can just extract that wherever you want. And then what you're going to do, you close this out now. You're going to open your uh, installation of Blender 2.8. For me, it's in Steam. To get to the files, you're going to go to Local Files and browse your local files. Open the 2.8 folder. Open the Scripts folder. Open the Add ons folder. And you're just going to drag this folder right inside of here. And that's all you need to do to install Blender Source Tools. So now we're in Blender 2.8. If you haven't used this much, don't worry about it. This is a pretty simple program to use uh, to make really basic stuff. But uh, so for this, for this tutorial, we're just going to focus on making a very simple object. Uh, whenever you open up Blender, you can obviously delete the camera and light. You don't need those for Source. And I'm just going to make a very simple prop for you guys. Just uh, I don't know, just going to play around with this, make a very simple shape. Alright, and here's the prop that I'm going to be putting into source. Very simple prop, not much to this. Um, yeah, don't have much to say about this. This is what the prop is. So to get this started, we are going to... The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to just, uh, just throw an unwrap on this. Um, obviously, this is just the default unwrap because uh, we just modified a primitive, but uh, you are going to want to obviously UV unwrap this. This isn't uh, detrimental to getting your prop into source, but for texturing properly, you're going to want to do this. Next step you're going to want to do is, after you've made your model, you need to do this. You need to go into object mode, press Control A, and you're going to apply all transforms. This isn't always going to do anything depending on how exactly you've made your model, but this is necessary to get uh, the, the appropriate to get the appropriate dimensions and whatnot into source. So the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your materials tab right here, this little circle down here, and you're just going to want to name your material. Uh, we're just going to call this my material. And you can always check to make sure you've applied your material by going to uh, the edit mode, going into your material tab still, and select, and it will select all of the faces that have this material. And this is fine for now. This is all we need. Alright, and this is pretty much done. The one thing that we do need to do is go back to edit mode, go to mesh, down to normals, and we're always going to want to recalculate outside. Sometimes normals can get flipped while you are while you are modeling, and it will make it appear inside out almost, and that's just necessary to do so that that doesn't happen. I'm not exactly sure what causes that, but it's always it's always nice to do that just to make sure that won't happen inside of Source. So the next step, this is our model. We've got this pretty much done. The next step that we want to do is we're going to create a collision mesh. So a collision mesh is what gives your prop collisions. So you don't always need to do this depending on what your prop is. Sometimes props don't need collisions. And sometimes you can just use bounding box to make a rectangle around it and and all that. So the next, to make a collision mesh, we are going to want to make sure we're in object mode. And the trick to creating collision meshes is they all need to be made out of convex pieces. So a convex piece is any piece that doesn't go in on itself. I'll show a picture right now of an example of con convex shapes. And here's an example of concave shapes, which is not what you want to do. So as you see, I've made a cube here. Cube is a convex shape. So that's fine for that. And the next step that we need to do is make sure we are still in our collection. And we need to make another cube. Because this is basically what these things are down here. And it doesn't always have to be exact. Uh, ideally, you would want this to fit this almost exactly. This isn't that big of a deal. This is just a test prop. So we are just going to make this approximate.
All right, so as you can see here, I've got pretty much every piece built separately. If we hide our original shape, as you can see, we've made it out of a couple different shapes. They're all separate pieces. Now, see, this is uh, this is pretty messy, but this is just a example collision model to show you what you need to do. So after you've got all these pieces, just select them all, and you're gonna press Control J to join them all together. Next step, press Control A, apply all transforms. And the final step is you're going to go into edit mode, right click, and go down to shade smooth. And this will shade smooth all of the faces. This is necessary for making proper collision meshes, so don't forget to do this. So we've got our two collections. We're gonna rename them. We're going to name the first one reference. All right, and we're gonna name the second one collisions. All right, and that's how we do that. So the next step, you're gonna to want to go to file. Uh, actually, go to edit, and you're gonna to wanna to go to preferences. You're gonna to go to the add-ons thing, and you're going to find import, export, blender source tools, and make sure this is checked. After this is checked, you're going to go to this scene tab over here and I've already got this enabled because I use blender source tools all right and so to get this set up you're going to want to find your export path to put your SMD as you see I've already made a folder on my desktop called new source model so that's going to be our export folder and then we're going to choose SMD we don't need DMX SMD will be fine and then here you're going to select your engine path so you're going to want to go to your CSGO folder Mine is on this drive. You're going to want to go to your Counter-Strike Global Offensive slash CSGO, or Counter-Strike Global Offensive slash bin, and then press accept. And that is your engine path. And we've almost got this done here. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to uncheck collisions. I like to uncheck this too, just to be safe. And then we're just exporting the reference right now. This is all we're exporting, just this. All right, we're happy with that. We press export export reference.smd. Good news. All right. Don't need that. And now let's export our collision model. Just like this. All right. We got that. We can export. And there we go. So we've got this. We got everything exported. So we are pretty much done with Blender. Uh, we can just save this. I'm just going to save this blend file because it's good practice to make sure you save your source files, just in case you need to modify anything. All right, so we've got our models exported from Blender into this folder, reference and collision model. So the next step we need to do is we need to make a QC file. QCs are pretty simple. They basically just define the properties of the model inside of source. So a QC file is just a regular text file with a different extension. So we're going to just make whatever QC file name really doesn't matter. Um, you're going to open this in Notepad or Notepad++, whatever your preference is, or any other text editor, I suppose. So, first thing you're going to want to type is model name. And here you're just going to define your model's name. So we're going to put it in a folder called Tutorial. This is inside of CSGO slash models. So just think of the path here, CSGO slash models slash tutorial. And we're going to put it inside of that, and we're going to call it my model dot MDL. Don't forget the uh, MDL extension on that. All right, next, you're going to type body. This just basically defines what uh, what we're using as the actual model. All right, and here we're just you're going to put reference dot SMD because that's the name of our uh, that's the name of our model. And my body here, this is basically just naming the body. You can ignore this. This is, just make sure you put this here, but it's not important what that name is. All right, and we're going to define static prop. This basically means that the model can be static or it's supposed to be static. Uh, you need that, again, if it's going to be static. The next thing we're going to type is surface prop. This is what the surface of our of our model is. Let's say our model is metal, so we can just type metal here. You don't need to put that in, in uh, quotes. There's a whole list of them. Uh, I'll, put the I'll put the link in the description for a list of surface props you can have. Uh, next is CV materials. This defines the directory that your materials are. And this is relative to CSGO slash materials. 
So in here, uh, it's good practice to always start this with models to store all your model materials inside of materials slash models. And then we're just going to put this in a folder called tutorial. And you're not actually defining the name of the material here. You're just putting uh, the folder that it's in. All right. Next is sequence. Uh, you do need to include this. Uh, it doesn't really do anything on static props, but I believe you do need to include it. This is pretty simple. You're just going to put sequence idle and then the name of your SMD again. Not much else to it. And then next is your collision model. And to do that, you just type collision model. And you're going to type collisions. Oops. Did I spell collisions wrong? No, I didn't. Collisions.smd. All right. And then afterwards, just put concave at the end. And that's all you need to do. This is, this is your QC done. The next step in making our model is giving it a texture. Now, if you already have, if you already know what texture you're going to use for this tutorial or for your model, you can, you can skip this part, but I'm just going to show you how to make a basic texture first. So we're going to open Photoshop real quick. All right, so inside of Photoshop, we're just going to create a new document here. We're just going to make this 1024 by 1024. All right, and we've got this blank canvas. We can make whatever texture we want to put on the model. Ideally, you could, not ideally, but you could use something like, like Substance Painter or really anything else to texture your model uh, more accurately. You can also export the UV map from Blender in order to know exactly which parts you're texturing. Uh, that's not that important for this tutorial, so we're not going to cover it. Here I'm just going to make a basic, very basic uh, material. All right, this is good enough. This will show us, um, this will give us our color. All right, and then we can just save this as PNG inside of inside of our new source model folder. I'm just going to name this uh, texture. Right, texture.png, that's good enough. All right. Actually, I'm wrong. We don't need to name it texture.png. We need to give it the name of our actual material that we defined. If you remember, inside of Blender, we gave it the name. Uh, we gave it the name my material, and you can check what name you gave it inside of reference.smt. You can just open it in Notepad++. Just name it my material. Uh, is what we did. So we could just change the name of this to my material. All right, there are two more steps that we need to do. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our texture into the game files, which is my material of PNG. So to do that, we're going to open VMT editor. We're going to change the shader to vertex lit generic. All right, and you're going to browse for the diffuse. The diffuse is basically just your general texture, uh, the one that we made. All right, and this program has a lot of other uh, a lot of other things you can put on there, like you can change the color, you know, a lot of different things you can do. Um, you know, you can just you can just do whatever. Um, you know, a lot of things you can do here. Uh, this this usually doesn't do anything on uh, models, so this color too is you generally use for models. Anyway, that's not that important right now. We changed the color uh, inside of our VMT. And to save our texture, we need to save as, we need to go to our CSGO folder. And inside of our CSGO folder, we need to put the, we need to put this in the same folder that we defined inside of our QC. So inside of our QC, we defined model slash tutorial. And that's reference to materials, or yeah, that's reference, or that's relative to materials. So we're going to go to CSGO materials. We're going to go down to models. Sorry for my messy uh, folder. And we're going to create a new folder here called tutorial. I believe that was what I named it. Let me check again. Yep. Model slash tutorial. Alright. And we're just going to save it in there and it will convert our texture to a VTF, which is what the game uses. And that's all we need to do. Our material is in the game. Alright, our next step is we're going to open Crowbar. Now I believe Crowbar will ask you to set up your to set up your uh, game, and basically what you want to do is you want to set up 
basically what you're basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to set up CSGO. I've already got CSGO set up as you see here. Um, so uh, after we've got CSGO set up, we want to go to compile, and we're going to browse for our QC file. All right, and then we're going to output. We're going to output to our CSGO folder. All right, and then all we do is press compile and it's built our model for us. So let's go check it out. To check your model, you can go to the model viewer. You're going to want to go to load model and we've put it in model slash tutorials. So let's find tutorial, my model. And here you go. We've got our model inside of source. Pretty simple. Let's go check it out in game. All right, to put our model in, we're just going to make a prop static, obviously. We're going to choose the world model to tutorial. All right, we've got our model here. This is our model that we made in Blender. And here's our model inside of Source. Not much else to this. There's a lot of other things you can do. So you see the collision model is accurate. We do this. It works perfectly fine. And yeah, hope well, this tutorial helped. There's a lot of other advanced options inside of Blender and whatnot to get your model looking extra fancy. So maybe I'll make tutorials on those in the future. And thank you for watching.